taking a taboo thing and giving it some legitimacy, giving it some professional design love and, and making it look real, you know. Will Reed is the man in charge of publicity for a lot of the companies at this weekend's Vermont Cannabis and Hemp Convention, the largest ever of its kind in the state and just in time. July 1st uh, legalization takes place. We'll probably have, you know, hopefully uh, another year before we see a recreational market like in Colorado. The state is legalizing possession of small amounts of marijuana for personal use, but getting weed is going to require some elbow grease. There's definitely a learning curve. But once you get the hang of it and you start to get dialed in, there's a whole community of people that help each other out. Lauren Siegel works for Bloom Boss, a company that sells home grow equipment, necessary because Vermont's legalization won't come with an open market. So now we have a whole market full of people who can possess cannabis, they can use cannabis, and they can gift it to their friends, but the only way to come across it is to receive it as a gift or to grow it yourself. But this convention is not all about buying and selling. Using cannabis is kind of like that base to bring to bring veterans together and feel like they have a safe zone. The Vermont chapter of the New England Veterans Alliance is here to talk about the issue of opiate overprescription to those that have served this country. Use cannabis and other natural uh, sustainable options to actually have a happier and healthier way of living. Now there isn't going to be any actual cannabis for sale at this event. They don't want to jump the gun before it's legal, but there will be some CBD products there and it runs through Sunday. At the Live Desk, Tom Garris, NBC5 News.